So we have taken Akragas from a single crabby little city to the whole of Sicily. We've beaten back the Syracusans, we've beaten back the Carthaginian elephants, and we've even raided Rome. But today, guys, the Romans are not going to be too happy about taking the Eternal City, and they are going to come back with a vengeance. Can we beat them back? Can we beat them off our island of Sicily? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned to find out. I can guarantee this one nearly made me gouge my own eyes out with a spoon. So, uh, yeah, there's plenty of pain for you to watch and enjoy. And if you do enjoy this one, guys, 100 likes for part four. And, of course, make sure you subscribe while you're there. And if you want to, you can join the membership program as well. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the crabby old video. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Acragas. Today, we are going to be trying to fight the Romans back, of course, to set ourselves up to become a pirate republic, a pirate raiding nation that's going to be raiding the world. But it all depends on whether we can hold back the tide of these Roman armies. It is truly, truly cursed trying to fight these armies. It is mega, mega difficult. So whether we can actually hold back the tide, I have no idea. But let's find out. First things first though, guys, we have some Roman armies on our doorstep. So we need to get training another army. Luckily, we do have a few units in the pipeline. So we're going to get a few more, as many as we can if i can remember where we are training and then we're going to build in all of our regions that we can build in which is going to be fantastic now i think that is everywhere where we can train well with building done guys there's only one thing to do and that is to end the turn and see what happens with these um couple of armies let's say <laughs> Well, let's get back onto the island nice and safe, my friends. I'm going to go straight to Syracuse and try to replenish our army here, of course. It is not exactly a very balanced army, I've got to say, but uh, yeah, it should do okay. <laughs> what well, I'm for. Well, enjoy your golden city, Rome. It's absolutely fucked. So, it's time to push the darn Romans back. We're going to stick our boats in there as well. Now, I have one little trick up our sleeve, and that is that Arialus, Arialus, the glorious conqueror of Rome, is a night fighter. But there's no guaranteeing that these guys are not night fighters either. So, whether this works... Oh! No, it just removes my army. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dearie me, my friends. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm willing to just stand here and defend Masana. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take the coward's way, I think, guys. <laughs> well, this time we've actually been attacked by them. So... I think it's a lot safer in a defensive battle. Um, it is the Romans, however, so safe is not a not a word that we can really use here, especially when they have lots of units of Triarii. When I say lots, actually not that many. Three. Ooh, spicy. Well, if we can kill their generals, I think we'll be okay, but this is not going to be fun, is it, guys? <laughs> Let's go. Well, at least we've got a juicy hill to defend on, right? <laughs> well, I think our main issue is going to be fighting their cavalry. They do have a lot of equites on this right-hand flank. Uh, this is going to be tough, my friends. This is going to be extremely tough. Well, here they come, crashing into the lines. Let's get you guys now on fire at will so you can actually fire at some good soldiers rather than just the velites. And I don't think the big great surrounds that we've been doing with the Carthaginians is going to work quite the same 
on this battle map with these uh, enemies. I don't know, guys. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. But let's uh, let's see. What do we have over here? We can't even... That's right at the edge of the battle map. So what do we have? We've got Hastati and Hastati. Maybe we can break these guys. I have no idea. But yeah, hopefully we can surround them. I don't know whether we can, though. <laughs> so the Equites are running a little bit rampant over here. They've broken the right-hand flank. And so these guys have broken, too. I don't know how these guys are breaking so much. Stop breaking, you fools. You fools! No! <laughs> Look at all our guys are breaking. Like, they've got 110 men, and they broke. Are you kidding me, bro? Really? 110 men, and you still break? That is foolish. That is very foolish. God damn it. I, yeah, I, I don't think we win this one, guys. I really don't think we win it. Oh, okay. That's at least something good. The general has died. That is great for us. I mean, I don't think it's going to help us too much. But there goes the general routing. If we could route any of these boys, they're all exhausted as well, which does help us. So we can, like, break maybe that has started. We can then start to move around this flank. Whether that's possible or not, I don't know. There's another Tribunus Militum. They did not get the best charge off. So if we can kill him too, that would be amazing. And, yeah, I mean, we're really struggling, aren't we, guys? But things can turn quite quickly in these battles. Whether they do in this particular one. <laughs> Completely different question. I'm going to keep my general nice and close just to keep this line at least happy-ish. <laughs> They're not going to be happy, but happier than you might expect is, <laughs> is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> Kill that companion cavalry, guys. Come on. Kill those four. They must have serious morale, some of these units. Break these guys, and then we can finally start to flank. Come on, guys. Come on. Two of them, and they're still only shake. They're steady. Come on. That's, that's ridiculous. Come on, boys. And the left-hand flank is starting to go as well, guys. Let's go. Whether we can break all of these guys, though, mm, what I would do for some cataphracts right now. <laughs> what I would do for some cataphracts. <laughs> well, here we go, guys. We're going to be surrounding these units. Unfortunately, it is a goddamn Triarii that's on this side. So we're going to keep coming through and try to surround some Hastati. Fortunately, over this side, yeah, all these Velites just all decided to fire at once, which, yep, it's not great. Not great. I mean, we've held out longer than I expected, honestly, so not much else I can really say. If we can kill a lot of Romans, that will be good, but look at that. They have so many men, and they are so strong. <laughs> This could be the end, guys. This could be the end. Tack them, please. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> be funny if that general was, like, somewhere else. Kill him and I'll be happy, guys. But there goes... Okay. <laughs> there goes the general. But there goes the rest of the lines. Um, yeah, might be time to go. <laughs> Get out of here, general. Go, go, go. If we can... Like, these guys need to break now as well. Please break so we can end this battle before they chase down my whole army and kill us all. <laughs> Please. Please break, men. They're all steady. No. Break. Break. If you do that, then uh, at least you're going that way. That's fine. That's fine. Get off the battle map. Get off the battle map before we all die. <laughs> before all our guys are chased down. No. Oh, guys, guys, guys. The Romans, they are summit else, aren't they? Jesus Christ. Look at this. 123 casualties. They killed 38. And these guys were all on the front line. I know they're not good units. But killing that few is really shocking, honestly. <laughs> Even the flanking units did nothing. Only one did okay. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> and there goes Masana. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> well, we might need a new army, guys. But the problem is our roster is so limited. I mean... Peloponnesian Hoplites, yes, they are good. I can agree with that. But the Sister Foroi are okay. <laughs> oh, god damn it, bro. This is this is just a horrible, horrible, horrible turn of events. Um <laughs> At least we're making money now. <laughs> Great. Well, the one good thing is that the AI is <laughs> 
stuck. <laughs> ah, stuck in place. That's that's at least the one good thing about this, guys. And this army also is like, uh, you know, ready to, to go again. <laughs> yes, guys, let's go. Well, whether this is brave or stupid, I have no idea, but... Uh, <laughs> We won't know until we try it out, guys, will we? So, uh, <laughs> let's go. Apparently, like, this is nothing to us. This is just scum in the dirt. Um, they attempted to ambush us. Ah, god damn it. Why did we... I forgot in an ambush, if you retreat, you actually run away. But, well, I guess it was brave and stupid, really, then. <laughs> Well, we could definitely conclude that the Romans themselves are stupid. So, uh, yes, <laughs> let's get on with this one. Hopefully, we can just do the big surround that we've done many times before and fully destroy them like a nice little Hannibal move, shall we say. Well, after the opening little salvos, these guys have uh, decided to withdraw. So we are going to try and engage them properly. Going to get through with everyone and try and surround them. If they escape with these guys, don't really mind at all. So, let's go. Let's try to surround these boys. Look at the Triarii go in there. What are they fucking doing, bro? Fucking idiots, honestly. You guys come up this way. You guys try and get them. I don't think you will do. I mean, we can maybe send the cavalry after them. But, yeah. I don't know what they're doing and what they think they're doing. But uh, whatever it is, it's uh, it's pretty dumb. <laughs> so we're going to try fully surround this tree REI here. We're going to surround this Samnite Hoplite over that way too. There we go. I'm going to bring the, all of these guys up this way. There we go. Kill all of those fools. You get there. You should probably come back actually. Um, who still has jabbies left? You guys do. And what we're going to do, send you guys around this way to go and deal with them there. And you guys can come through this way. And hopefully this should be a nice, easy victory, my friends. Well, there we go, guys. I think that is a good result against the Romans, honestly. Pretty darn good. We still lost a lot of men with some of the units. But overall, pretty darn juicy. So now is time for the bravery and stupidity, I guess. So uh, let's go. They do have two units of Triarii. The rest of it, not that many uh, Velites and stuff, so that's good. So the great big surround is on once again, my friends. Let's go. Well, I was going to say we're going to wait for them to join up with the secondary army, but um, looks like not something they're interested in, does it, my friends? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's oblige them then. And, of course, we're just going to use exactly the same technique that we've been using this whole time. Frontal engagement, and then a surround. Well, the front line seems to be holding relatively well. They have targeted some of the weaker areas, which, of course, is a good idea from their perspective. So we are going to finally move into action and fully surround them. Fortunately, we can't do any, like, advanced tactics like Hannibal, where we, uh, you know, withdraw the back line. But that would be really cool. Um... I wish you could do stuff like that, you know, like step backwards, step forward, all that sort of thing. That would be awesome, but not possible, unfortunately. So uh, let's uh, let's move slightly further forward with those boys too. Let's see if we can uh, finally get this surround off. You guys get moving. You guys catch them. Quick, 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 quick. You guys get down there. And we're also bringing these guys along this way. See if we can fully uh, sort of surround this unit. There we go. Just just get them. Just get them. The rest of you. Let's come over this way. That's their general dead. That should be the death of their army. That should be the death knell. You guys get in there, actually. You two are going to have to get involved in here. How is this? This is just a Velites. Yeah, I don't mind about that. Let's go uh, kill this Velites. You guys get along here. What is this? Just a Hastati. Yeah, we've got another unit routing there. So let's keep coming. This is going to be pretty brutal battle, my friends. Pretty brutal battle. Let's go, let's go. Kill the Triarii. Kill the Triarii. Whew. Again, Triarii are just horrendous to deal with. What an OP unit, bro. Insanely OP. 
Oh, just look at the glorious surrounding here, guys. All of those units trapped in. Same over here. Got a little bit of a different scenario with this way because we've unfortunately got a lot of light infantry over here that we, we cannot really deal with at the moment. So we're going to try and engage this uh, Prinka base and see what we can do. But look at all these units trapped in this way. <laughs> this is going to be glorious when they start to rout, which... You know, hopefully they do at some point, bro. <laughs> That's big brain play. It's big brain play. There we go. The first tree REI breaks, guys. This might start a bit of a chain reaction. This is starting as wavering. Let's go. Come on, guys. Get in there. Let's kill them all. Let's kill them all. This is less of a surround now. The, the Romans have nearly pushed all the way through. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, we've killed a lot of them. We've killed an absolute load of them. Whether we can beat all these Velites and stuff, we should be able to. But this Prinkapes is proving rather tasty. But yeah, we're struggling against the Velites. That's how good the Greek Hoplites are, guys. That's how fantastically good they are. <laughs> God damn it. Some of our units have started to rout now. So we're going to have to get the general engaged, unfortunately. See if he can do a good charge. Didn't really do much, but it, it might be something. It might be enough. <laughs> Let's see, the Prinka Bay is over there. This is, this is just crazy. The Romans are insane, bro. The Romans are fucking insane. Look at this, like 18 Samnite Hoplites and they're still happy. And the general has died. Remember that, the general has died. Both of the generals have died, in fact. And they are routing less than me. <laughs> Disgusting! Kill the goddamn Astarte, surely. Look at this. We're routing again. Brother. How? Oh, my God. Just remember, we fully surrounded that whole army. <laughs> and yet still, we lose. We lose. We fucking lose. How? How? <laughs> Look, nine Brinkapes with no general still eager. Yeah, that, that sounds about right, guys. That sounds fair. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, you know, we, we got down to nine men, but we're still really happy. We're still going to carry on. Fucking hell, bro. That is just insane. That is insane. Well, this battle has been incredibly close. I still don't know how. <laughs> it should not have been this close. Um... But yeah, we, we might get through it. I don't know. Just insane to me that we fully surrounded their whole army and they still came out on top. They still look at the look at the destruction here. What is that? And still their morale holds, bro. Still their morale holds. Are you kidding me? What is this? Kill that Astarte for God's sake. See if we can break. I don't think we're going to break that Prinka base. I'm not going to lie. We'd have to do about 10 charges. And they have to be good charges as well. But these charges do nothing against the Prinka base. What? Look at that. They just go in. And that's it. Kill like two men. <laughs> Great. This is fucked. This is not right. This is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Come on, Cav. Let's go. <laughs> See if we can break any of these guys. We broke the Velites. Is that enough to break the Hastati? Not quite, not quite. We've got to keep going. Let's charge straight into the Prinka Bay now. Let's rally the man. Rally the man. There we go. Can we break these boys now? Shaken. Oh, steady. Right, yeah, of course. Of course, steady. <laughs> this is just so, so brutal. <laughs> Look at the amount of men that have died. This is one Pyrrhic victory after another, my friends. And there we go with this unit. The Hastati are going to be happy about that. Let's see if we can use our six men for a glorious charge against the Prinka base. I genuinely think we lose this, bro. I genuinely think we might lose this. And here they come. I don't think we survive this charge, guys. No chance. These guys, like, keep going back to Eager. They have, like, so many different uh, negative things, but they're still Eager. Are you sure? Like, there's three negative things there. And they're still... Oh, eager, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of shit happening and it happening to us, but we're eager, bro. What the fuck, man? There's no way we survive this. This is, this is the death knell. Oh, 
well, guys. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. What can we do? We literally surrounded their whole army. And we still lost. <laughs> what can we do with this roster, man? Oh, my God. Oh, fucking hell, bro. Oh. This, this is just... This is just horrifying. This is just horrible. Honestly. This is just not fun. Come on, please. Well, if we can't beat them in the field, I think the only thing to do is just to out manpower the Romans, guys. Yes. Something that plenty of people were able to do in the past, right? <laughs> so, guys, I mean, the Romans are just standing there at the moment, which... Is fine by me. If they just want to stand there, that's good. We just need money. Like, we really need money. And there's one place where we can potentially get quite a bit of money. And they really do not have the same strength armies as the Romans. So, um, yeah, I think we'll... Uh, I think we'll go there. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm sure the Romans are just going to flood across now with ten armies. That's... That's the way our luck's been going, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know, I just don't know at this point. Ah, what's this? New lands, new lands, well, um, yeah, new lands, looks, looks lovely, guys, let's, uh, let's have a little go at it, shall we? Uh, we don't have a navy anymore. Could things be going any any worse, really. <laughs> what is my problem? Ugh. Well, Clopea has been taken, guys, at a rather significant cost, I'm not going to lie. Now, I am going to try to hold on to these areas, if possible. So, it's just because we need, we just really do need the money at this point. Like, we really need some cash. So, holding on to these areas is going to be our major point of contention. So, Toons over there is a large city, but Carthage really is the prize, isn't it? I think we go... Okay, well, I think we were going to go for Carthage. That should not be too hard to deal with, though. I mean, Carthage is not good. Um, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> this is just, just pure pain, bro. From the last episode where it was really fun to just this episode where... I want to scratch my own eyeballs out. Well, let's do it then, guys. The Siege of Carthage. Let's go. That's another Infinity Stone that we can, uh, you know, capture. So let's get into it. Well, we got on the walls, which is pretty good. And we've also destroyed the walls, which is also pretty darn good. So uh, let's go. You guys get up, please. Get up. There you go. And uh, now those walls are destroyed. What do they have defending them? Oh, Numidian cavalry. <laughs> Nice. Well, the walls are all down, guys, and honestly, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I am finished. So we are just going to assault the town square. No messing around this time. All of these fools, they must pay for the pain they have put us through so far. Well, hopefully we can break this guy. The final unit, guys. Watch us lose our general here. That would just be our luck at this point, wouldn't it? <laughs> Please, come on. These guys got to here, but not close enough. Let's see whether they do a good good job against the Libyo Phoenicians. There we go. Fighting to the death. Get out of there. They should be broken. And Carthage is ours, guys. Glorious. Glorious. And, of course, guys, we are going to be exterminating over here. Let's destroy this as well. That's going to bring us some more money. Now, in terms of what we want to destroy, I want to destroy everything... That doesn't bring us money or, you know, happiness. So, let's go get rid of all of these army barracks and all that sort of thing. We don't need that over here. Everything else can stay, apart from the blacksmith, of course. There we go. Carthage is pretty destroyed, my friends, which is very nice. We're going to go straight onto Toons, which is a large city as well. So, let's go for that. In fact, though, let's pop out there. See how upset they are. I like I say, I do want to keep this place because we just we just need the money at this point. Like we just need money. 
70%. Happy enough. Happy enough, friends. Happy enough. So the main goal here, guys, is... We've taken tunes, by the way, as well. Um, the main goal here is just to have enough money. If we can take, like, a good chunk of North Africa and Tunisia over here... Like, we just need to make enough money so that we can have two armies. Because I do want to make this into a pirate republic. But the Romans are really, really trying to put a stop to that. I mean, we're not too far off having a couple of armies. But yeah, we just need to, uh, you know, make our armies a little bit better. Spend a bit of time building up our economy, playing tall. And then being able to hold on to this area would be amazing. So then we can then have an army over here, an army there, and an army raiding. Whether we can do that, though, is a different question, guys. <laughs> I don't know. So, guys, I've had a day between where we did last time, and I think the plan for the rest of this episode is to just consolidate this region. We are starting to make okay money, but whether it's enough to sustain three armies, I'm not sure at this point. We basically want to get to the point where we can sustain... Three separate armies. One against Carthage. One against Rome. And then one to go pirating for next episode. Because that was the whole point of this series. To go pirating, guys. To become pirates in the Mediterranean. Um, but currently, we just don't have the money or the resources. So, yeah. We'll go for the Siege of Utica, though. Let's get in there. It's a large city with a lot of population. So this should be very, very good for our bank balance. Let's go. Here comes the phalangites, guys. So we're going to try and pound them with as many, uh, as many little uh, bits of uh, javelins, as little bits of javelins, as many javelins as we can. And we're going to have to try and surround these boys. I mean, it looks like their whole army is coming this way, which is insanely good for us. If we can surround their whole army and just stand on the town square... Then that's going to be amazing. So let's go, boys. And now we just need to hold them off this town square for long enough. So uh, that's going to be pretty fun if we can do that. And that should be a lot better for us in the long run. We're just going to make sure this Kaitrati does not get onto the town square. And all we need to do is just... These guys are sacrificial lambs to hold the boys over there. That's fine. There we go. We are engaged in the Kaitrati now. So all it is is a case of waiting now. Well done, AI. <laughs> Some great moves from the AI once again, my friends. <clears throat> well, there we go, guys. We just managed to hold them off the town square. We did lose a few men in there. 200 to their 100. But they were just there to hold that there while we did it. So fantastic. Another large city is ours. That should really boost our income once again. And Utica doesn't look too happy. So I think we're going to go for the enslavement here. Only 60% with the enslavement. That's not amazing. Um, Yeah, it's not great. What I do want to do though is ferry the troops back across and bring some more um, reinforcements too. I wonder if there are any sort of um, mercenaries available. Well, Carthage would be the only option here. We've just got to make sure we don't get stuck by that army. No, no mercenaries available. How about over here? Any mercenaries there? We might pop a watchtower over here so we can see a little bit further. Um, so if we just pop into this area here, is there mercenaries? No, this area has elephants. So imagine if we got elephants. But no, no mercenaries available. <laughs> Oh, that's that's not good. <laughs> that's that's really not good. And here comes Rome once again. And I was just about to say that Rome has really been quiet for a while. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering whether it was just because Masana is like one of their um, target regions on their their um, victory conditions, and that's why they were coming after that. But that means we are definitely going to have to now train some extra troops. To fill any gaps that we have. Um, I'm wondering if we can take these guys back for retraining. Because it's a lot quicker, remember guys. Getting those guys back for retraining rather than anything else. Um, those guys too, potentially. How do we look there? 72, that's absolutely fine. And then over here we just have a single guy. That's excellent. So Carthage, we need some extra happiness quite quickly. So let's just go for that one. And then over here in Toons, we are building that. That's fine. That's going to bring us a load of cash. So I'm fine with that. 
Let's go with the Acro Gas Recruitment 1. I wonder if we have any AOR here. Just the Libyan Light Infantry. Well, that's... That's not that's not good. <laughs> Let's be honest. Libyan Phalangites, though. This might actually be the place where we can get Phalangites. Libyan Phalangites are not great. They're kind of like Deuteroy, really. They're a low-tier Phalangite. But... It's better than nothing, especially against the Romans. I think that might be the key to beating them, is getting the Phalangites in there, guys. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be fine. They haven't attacked Atutica, which is a little bit weird. But if we can just sneak out again. Mercenaries available? Oh, there are. Not good ones, I've got to say. Namidian Javelin Men. Which one is better? They're actually better. That is, <laughs> that is a funny... Uh, <laughs> What the hell is that? <laughs> Excellent. Well, uh, let's get back in. And we've been sieged down at Utica. Whether we can beat that, I don't know. It's not the greatest of armies, but uh, <laughs> we don't have the greatest of armies either, do we, really? <laughs> and here we go, guys. Honestly, I think the only thing we can do here is just hope to destroy their rams and hold them for 40 minutes. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Like, look at this. <laughs> Two, four, five, six, seven units of Triarii. I am fucking fuming! Mega, mega fucking fuming! So, they do have four rams, guys. Now, we're going to try and use the dodgy tactic we've used many times before. And that is to allow them to get into the range of the towers. Then attack them so the ram is still. And then hopefully the ram gets destroyed by the towers. Whether that occurs, though, is a completely different question because it's very, very hard to do. Surely they're they're getting shot by the towers now. Come on, towers. Surely. No? Really? Oh, we lost some men there. We got... We got... Right, straight off. Straight off. And hopefully <laughs> no, by doing no, this, no, we kind no, of bug no, the AI out as well. <laughs> this guy is our general and he's stuck in there. Yep. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Oh, general's gone. Right. Yep. We've lost, guys. <laughs> in that case, what we're going to do is we're just going to try and hope that we can hold out in the town square. Fortunately, these walls are terrible. Like, there's not even a tower over here, so we can't even do anything. So... Well, that didn't take long, guys. <laughs> I could just I basically get touched by them and then run. So, uh, yeah, there we go, as you can see. So, we don't really have any Akutistai left, but, um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We've got 40 minutes for our guys to hold out now. <laughs> Not sure that's going to be the case. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do here, guys, is move the Peloponnesians up and hope that they can just last... For as long as possible and that they only fight these guys for a little bit of time while you know just basically just try and fight the peloponnesians for as long as possible while these guys just hold and don't have to fight well guys we're just about to pass the 30 minute mark but um unfortunately i i don't think we're going to be lasting we might make 20 but that's ambitious i've got to say the triari are just something else they just cut down men like no other unit in this game. They are ridiculous. And the reason why I might be uh, saying a lot... Oh, no, no, no. Just fight them. That's fine. Uh, the reason why uh, you might be wondering why I keep going on about the Triari. Look at their stats. 57 defense versus 38. 19 morale versus 14. And 17 melee attack. I know it's with a spear, it's not a sword. 17 with a sword would be much better. But 17 melee attack versus our 13 on our Greek hoplites. Like, 57 defense, guys. That is just something else, honestly. <laughs> well, we just about made 20 minutes, guys. But look at this. Look at this. 200. They've basically just lost 200 men. We have lost 1,000. <laughs> it's... Oh, no. <laughs> Well, we might even make 15 minutes, guys. Very close on the 15th. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Absolutely ruined. Oh, honestly, at this point, I do not know what to do. Like, what can we do against the Romans? What can we do against such reckless hate, my friends? <laughs> it's one I made earlier. And just to back them up, they've got another 
full stack here as well with a tree rei <laughs> that's got silver experience how did you get silver experience fool oh my god so guys a couple of turns later here is the situation rome has taken all these three provinces they are now sieging down mitistratum however we brought our army back from carthage over here they're going to get fully retrained. We've got a pretty much full stack here too, as well as now some actual cavalry, which is insane, guys. Some cavalry, wow. Um, as well as some archers as well. So a bit more rounded army we're going for now. Um, we have taken Carcadonike Neapolis over here too. So we've got a nice little foothold over here, mainly all the large cities, which is very good for us. They don't have much population in them anymore, but that should allow us to keep hold of them for the time being. So we're going to get all our troops together after this turn, guys. And we're going to hopefully go and destroy this army. Whether we can or not, though, is a completely different question. Um, so <laughs> let's see, though, guys. And hopefully we can push the Romans back. Finally. <laughs> And we now have a Spido Foroy as well, guys, which is actually very useful. I wonder whether we can get them straight away. We can. Let's have a check out of them. 15 morale, 12 melee attack, and 11 alt attack. Compare that. That's 15, 12, and 11 for the Zista Foroy 2. But these guys just have a bit more defense and a bit more charge. So definitely the best option there for us. So let's pop those guys in there. Now, the Romans have ran away after we surrounded them here. So, I think we are going to go after Taormenion. And we're going to keep our armies right next to each other. Because, obviously, guys, um, there's some big Roman armies around. And, yeah, we don't want to do anything silly. And Carthage wants a ceasefire. That's actually perfect for us right now, guys. Absolutely. They're going to give us 20,000 an RE. I cannot say no. Absolutely not. So, we've recently retaken Taormenion. And we're now going straight for Tindaris. We're basically doing the border control thing that we always do, guys. Because they have sieged down Mitistratum as well. So hopefully, by taking Tindaris, they will not want to take Mitistratum anymore. And then if we can take Masana back, I think we will be happy, guys. We've got loads of cash in the bank. That's going to allow us to expand our military infrastructure where we can. So that is what we're going to be doing. 12000 for the Hippodrome over here. A lot of money. And then the rest of it's going to be spent on some troops and the economy. And look at that, guys. Because Enna over here has so many trade goods in it, the paved roads are going to give us 500 gold extra a turn from trade. That is insane. And there goes Tindaris. That should make them stop trying to take Mitistratum. They still have this army that's done nothing. Um, I don't think they want to take on both of our armies, so we might be able to push him back to Masana without much problem here, which would be amazing. And then we can try to take out these armies one by one. <sighs> try is the uh, strong word there. <laughs> and there we go. Masana is back in our hands, my friends. So uh, let's see what we want to do. Ideally, I would like to fight this army first, but... It might be the case that we have to fight Captain Lucius. Now, this army has destroyed us pretty pretty brutally in the past. But now we have two armies <laughs> and some cavalry as well, which um, should be very helpful against the Velites and the Slingers and all that sort of thing. Whether we can fully destroy this army, I have no idea. I'm going to bring this army in controlled by the AI because I think we just need extra numbers on the battlefield so let's go guys we've got 1600 men plus a thousand 2600 versus their 1600 surely surely that's going to be enough this time but let's find out guys um well i don't like this <laughs> oh god damn i didn't have the reinforcement set to come on as part of the uh, as controlled by the ai um well, that's not ideal, is it, my friends? It's not ideal. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Looks like they're going straight for the charge. So, uh, let's kill their general. That would be good. There we go. You guys just get here. Same with you. And you. There we go. Perfect. That's their general fleeing already. 
Now we're going to just do the classic en uh, encirclement, I think. Whether that works or not, completely different question. What do we have here, Triarii? We're going to have to just try to let them engage themselves here. I'm going to bring the Thurio Foroid Cavalry around to tr hopefully fire javelins into the back of those guys. Are they withdrawing? No, looks like the Triarii are just uh, going for it. That's fine by me, because we can just fully surround a Triarii unit and kill them. That would be amazing. You guys get there. You guys get there. And like I said, it's going to be pretty hard to kill that whole Triarii unit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring... Oh, they broke! They broke! Oh my god, boys! Oh my god! Oh yes! Unbridled joy! Unbridled joy, my friends! Looks like they're not so happy on the old morale at the minute. That's amazing. Well, here we go, guys. Getting into the action now. Hopefully, we have enough troops to, first of all, hold them back. And secondly, to... Uh, um, to, to encircle them. Whether we do, though, or not, I don't know. They still have a lot of Triarii and all that sort of thing. I'm going to use our Thurio Foroid Cavalry to chase down all their light infantry. That's going to be quite good for us now because they are light cavalry after all. Missile cavalry. So, uh, there we go. That's good. You guys get engaged up in the front there. That'll be amazing. You guys come forward. Let's go. And we're going to try and get these guys around the flank too. There we go, absolutely shredding them now with the Thurio Foroid Cavalry. The boys on tour. Let's go, boys. Nice, Prinker Bay's there. <clears throat> and now I think it's time to actually use our proper cavalry to come round the back. I'm going to try and get away from those guys. Can we break those Greek Slingers? We can. Fantastic. And once we've done that, we are going to start firing some javelins into the boys there as well. They're firing javelins at us too. That's fine. Well, now this flank is secured. It's time for the old encirclement, I would say. So get there, or at least uh, facing these boys in combat. Very good. Should be an easy victory over here. And there we go, guys. Let's, uh, let's start charging some of the boys and encircling them. Well, first charge. Here we go, guys. Straight into the back of the Pringapes. Rally the men. Let's go. Let's see how we do with the Zistaforoi now against these boys. Let's go, boys. Oh, that's huge. That is a huge charge. Fighting to the death. We don't need that, boys. We don't need that. There we go. Let's go kill that Greek slinger. And then we'll come back. You guys can fight them. No problem whatsoever. Who do we have next, then? We do, unfortunately, have Triarii to charge at next. But we're going to do a great big charge down the uh, this flank here. That's going to be pretty darn fun. So let's try and get these guys in around the back, too. You guys charge there, you guys charge there, you guys charge there, and you guys charge there. And let's see how we do. This should be a pretty nice charge, all told. You guys come back and chase down whoever's routing. I don't mind that at all. There we go. Have we got anyone else wanting to route here? Okay, there we go, boys. Back out now, back out. And you guys, let's get you round the back, ready to fully surround some of these Triarii. We're going to go charge into those Prinkapes next. Very nice. You guys chase down those Prinkapes. Should be a pretty nice charge here. There we go. They didn't like that at all. We're going to take a bit of damage with our boys. But there we go. Wavering. Broken. Nice. Didn't even need all the men. Well, let's see what we can do with this charge, guys. Hopefully, we can break the Hastartian Prinkapes over here. It's a bit of a fat charge because we had to fit through that gap. But that's pretty brutal. There we go. Straight into the side of them if we can, guys. Just change the direction slightly. There we go. Look at that. Shaken, wavering. Let's break them. Come on, boys. Let's break them. Come on. Come on, men. Leaving them in here a little bit longer than maybe they should do. But there we go. That's it, boys. That's it. That's what we like to see. This Triarii is fighting to the death, which is never ideal. But, um, yeah, now we're breaking nearly everyone. This should be a pretty easy rest of the battle. There we go, guys. They're all routing now. They are all fighting to the death, so we are going to try and get some of the men away from here so we can chase them down. But a glorious victory. Finally, revenge against the Romans. Oh my god! Wow! Well, I've got to say, guys, revenge is sweet. That was lovely. Very nice. 
indeed. 329 kills from the 304 Roy Cavalry. <laughs> a lot of those on, uh, you know, slingers, but fair enough. <laughs> That's insane. Very good. Let's go. What the hell? We just got bribed. <laughs> Look, we got bribed at Masada. And apparently we're now ambushing this. <laughs> what? What is the point, bro? Oh, Rome, Rome, Rome. Whenever <laughs> Rome giveth, Rome taketh away. <laughs> well, this has been way more brutal than I expected. <laughs> well, there we go. Pretty equal, unfortunately, this time. But mad that they get Triario when, when they bribe a settlement. Oh, my God. Well, I think we're 100% going to have to be retraining this, <laughs> this turn, guys. Jesus Christ. That was pretty brutal. <laughs> Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion that this might happen. And of course, we're going to accept that, guys. Glorious. And Carthage has declared war on us again. <laughs> Great. Well, guys, that is three hours of gameplay done, at least by now. So I think what we're going to be doing is ending it here. We have successfully beaten back the Romans, which is glorious, glorious for us. And, of course, we now have a foothold in Carthage, which we're going to expand from. And next episode, we're going to take this brand new army raiding the many empires of the world, my friends. So, stay tuned for that one. 100 likes, and we'll do that part four. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all again on the next episode.